So it's about 30 degrees outside and uh, my car is filthy so we're going to wash it. Temperature 34 degrees. That's interesting. Alright, let's go wash the car. Alright, so it's like 30 degrees out today and Black Exorcist is filthy, so we're going to clean her. And to do that, I've got a few different products. Um, mainly, I wanted to try out this new little gizmo right here from uh, Adams Polishes. It is their foam gun. It's supposed to, like, I don't know, create suds with soap and stuff. And so we're going to try it out and see how it works. Um, I also got some other stuff from Adams Polishes, but that'll be in a later video. And I've got some mods that we're going to do to the charger today, too. But it's got to be clean first. So we've got the foam gun. Um, I got a bucket of hot water here because, like I said, it's like 50 degrees outside and or 30 degrees outside, and I don't want to freeze my hands off. Um, also got uh, a leaf blower because whenever you go to dry the car off, that'll come in helpful. And uh, I've got some other stuff over there in the bucket as well. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go on ahead and get started with this. This isn't gonna really be a tutorial on how to wash your car because I'm no expert on this. And when it gets summertime and when it's warm, I'll do a video then on how to wash your car properly. This is just kind of like a daily driver winter thing. This is what I would do um, just to keep, get the dirt off and uh, get it back looking like it's supposed to be looking. Um, obviously this car has been through a lot. Uh, it had a life where it was in the oil field most of the time. and So there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this car, to the paint and to the interior to get it like it needs to be. And I'm gonna, I, it's a work in progress, you know. That's one of the things about being in the car hobby is that you can always, there's always something you can do, you can find to do. So we're just gonna give Black Exorcist a bath today, and uh, we're gonna put on some of the, uh, the first mods that I've got for the car. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Go follow, follow Adams on social media, they make great stuff. Alright, so at this point in time, I've already foamed the car down once and washed it once, scrubbed it, but there's a few spots that I'm on, I need to hit again, so I'm going to go on ahead and uh, hit them again with the Adams, with the Adams foam gun. I'm going to foam the whole car down one more time, and I'm going to scrub those few hard to reach areas. Uh, first impressions on this foam gun, uh, best $40 I've ever spent, but I'll talk more about that after we get done. I'm going to go ahead and foam the car down one more time.
So now we're going to do what everybody loves to do, which is dry the car off. So, leaf blower time. Alright guys, so we're going to get started here doing the first mods to the Charger. And they're visual mods, but I think they're going to be quite tasteful. Um, I ordered, the SRT cars have 392 written above the Hemi badge on the uh, front fenders, the front quarter panels. And I like that a lot. And so I went online and I found these uh, 345 badges because the... Uh, the 6.4 liters equate to 392 uh, cubic inches of displacement. The 5.7s equate to 345. So we're going to put these on, and we're also going to put on this RT badge right here to replace the chrome RT badge that's on the trunk. Uh, that should be fairly simple and straightforward to do. And I also ordered a RT badge to go in the grill, but... As you can tell, we'll walk over here real quick. Um, you can't really get to the grill from in the engine bay, even if you pull this cover off, which I've already done. There's like a bunch of plastic right here. So I guess in order to replace that, I'm going to have to pull the whole front bumper off the car to get the Dodge badge out and put the uh, RT badge in. But here's where the... Um, and the 345 is going to go on each side, and then this is where the uh, stick-on RT badge is going to go. So as far as supplies as this, really, um, uh, you can get some goo gone, some type of um, adhesive remover. We'll use that on the back emblem. Uh, some fishing line, this is used to pull the emblem away from the paint without hurting it. Uh, for the 345 badges, we're going to use some masking tape to kind of line up everything and get it straight. And you need your emblems, obviously. Uh, also, a microfiber towel and some detail spray um, just to kind of clean everything up. So, uh, we're going to go on ahead and get started with the 345 badges. Alright, so I don't know how well you can see this, but we're going to go on ahead and start with the, uh, the 345 badges on each side of the car and you just want to take and just kind of make sure that uh everything is good to go beforehand and i breathed on that and it's cold so i gotta let that evaporate but what we're gonna do here is is that the way these badges work is that they just line up right above um where you're trying to put them and so we're gonna go off of the edge of the hemi and then the top and line these up how they need to be so we're just going to get two strips of masking tape and we're just going to go right along the edge of the hemi following that same angle on both sides just like that and then we're going to pull out our badges a badge because there are two there is two of them and we're just going to kind of eyeball it and line this up straight across the top here so what we're going to do with this so we're just going to go straight right there and then we're going to do it again but this time we're going to go farther up there we go so we'll remove this one and we'll leave that one on there and that should be plenty of room needs to really be moved up a little bit more so
we'll do it again but uh There we go. All right. So now that we've got that done, we can go on ahead and start sticking our badges up on here. And these badges, pretty interesting because they're done with 3M tape. They have a backing that's made out of 3M tape. So you just kind of punch and pull and uh, you'll get your badge out. So there's the three. We're going to start with it first. And uh, just remove the backing. And it wants to stick to me for some reason. So, there's the three stuck up on there. Now we'll do the four, or we'll do the five, and then we'll uh, kind of center the four in between. So, let's pull the backing off of that. And it keeps wanting to stick to me for some reason. Don't know why. There we go. And then we'll put the four in the middle. But I have a message. Thomas. My paint looks terrible. I apologize. I did clean the car. I'm sorry, but it does need to be. Uh, I'm gonna do the interior tomorrow. I just wanted to get the exterior done today, and uh, I'll do the interior tomorrow and do a final wipe down. But we're gonna finish up here on this side with the four, and that's just gonna go just kind of right in the middle right here. There you go. There you go. 345. And so you just pull this back. And there you have it. Now everybody knows that this car is a 345 Hemi. And I won't show you the other side because it's roughly the same thing. Um, it's the same exact procedure, but there you go. That's how you put badges on, and you didn't have a badge beforehand right there. And there's some hair or something sticking up. There you go. Looks good. I'm happy with that. On to the other side. All right, so for this next mod, I actually am going to do two different things. Uh... First off, I'm going to pull off this CarMax sticker up here because I just find it really distasteful. So for that, you're going to need a hair dryer and an X-Acto knife. And what you're going to want to do is to heat this up and loosen the adhesive on these stickers. And you're just going to slowly go on and peel these off.
So now that that's done, we got some adhesive left up there. So we're just going to come over here and grab the goo gone, and I need a cotton pad. Alright, so get you some Goo Gone and some Detail Spray, and we're just going to wipe down where the, uh, the badge was with the Goo Gone, just to try to remove some of that adhesive, and this stuff is safe for paint, it ain't going to hurt your paint or anything like that, just, uh, we just want to get that adhesive off of there best as we can and it may take two or three times to get it all to come off Now you just want to get a uh, microfiber towel just get you a uh, microfiber towel here put the cap back on your goo gone and just wipe that all off and there's still some stuck up on there so what we're gonna do is We're just going to take our towel and hit that spot one more time to just treat it and get some of that crap off of there. There we go. And we'll just flip it over. Wipe it off. And then we'll just uh, take some of our detail spray, put that on there, wipe that in there. That'll help protect it. And there you go. That's done. Now we're going to move on to the, uh, to the RT badge over here. So now we're going to move on to the RT badge over here. And what you want to do is take your hair dryer and you want to heat this up and then you're going to take your fishing line and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me go on ahead and start heating this up. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to take your fishing line and just get it behind the badge And just with a sawing motion, just pull through and do that right there. And now the badge is off. There's the old badge right there. Crappy old badge. I'll chunk that over there. Um, you can heat this up some more. Well, 
hit it with the detail spray. There we go. And just clean this surface off and uh, prep it for the new badge. There you go. Now what you want to do here is you want to take your new badge and just open it up however is most convenient. These, ba these badges don't want to open up well at all. Let me go grab the X-Acto knife. Alright, so you got your new badge open and uh, like I said, these all came off of Amazon. So how well they stick, I don't know. It's just going to be something we're going to have to go with and see. If you just want to take and uh, peel the adhesive off of the badge and then just kind of line it up as best as you can. And push it down on there. And that's pretty much it to rebadging your car. Just give it some pressure. That way it makes sure that everything sticks down on there like it's supposed to. And uh, there you go finished product so um that's uh that's what it looks like all done all right guys well that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video we uh that's how i washed the car in the winter time and we got some first mods installed uh we did the 345 badges up on the fenders on each side like the srt cars have we debadged and we took off the stupid CarMax sticker that was on the trunk and uh, we replaced the crap chrome RT badge, this piece of junk right here, with um, a real red RT badge, the Heritage badge. So uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to hit the car and wipe it down with some detail spray real quick and uh, start picking everything up. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Get notified when we upload uh, more content. My name is Brandon, and I will see you guys in the next video. We'll catch you next time.